Having confessed our sins and asking for God's forgiveness, let us recite the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed by my fault, by my fault. By my own great fault, I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority, Vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. And you will us again. Show us your mercy, Lord. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry unto you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on the faithful, for he knows how we are formed, remembers that we are dust. As the heavens tower over the earth, so God's love towers over the faithful. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be for all of our Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we pray and praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, 
you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Loving Father, however much we turn to you, you always have compassion. Seek us out and welcome us with love. Transform us through your Holy Spirit that we may never be lost to who you. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and art one God forever and ever. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you taught us that you are the resurrection and the life, that whosoever believes in you, though he be dead, shall he live, and whosoever lives and believes in you shall never die. Hear the prayers of your people this day, dear Lord, as we remember and offer prayer for the repose of the soul of our late departed brother Robert Janikowski. Bless, O oh Lord, and may he have perpetual rest in you. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and art one God, forever and ever. Cheryl, will you please proclaim the word? reading is a reading from the Book of Wisdom. Before the Lord, the whole universe is as a grain from a, ba a balance, or a drop of morning dew come down upon the earth. But you have mercy on all because you can do all things, and you overlook people's sins that they may repent. For you love all things that are and loathe nothing that you have made. For what you hated, you would not have fashioned. And how could a thing remain unless you willed it, or be preserved had it not been called forth by you? But you spare all things because they are yours, O Lord and lover of souls, for your imperishable spirit is in all things. Therefore, you rebuke offenders little by little, warn them, and remind them of the sins they are committing, that they may abandon their wickedness and believe in you, O Lord. Thanks, be, Thanks God. be to God. <laughs> Test me, Lord, and try me. Search my heart and mind. Your love is before my eyes. I walk guided by your faithfulness. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold for the times of trouble. The second reading is a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we always pray for you, that our God may make you worthy of his calling and powerfully bring to fulfillment every good purpose and every effort of faith, that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you, in you and him, in accord with the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling with him, not to be shaken out of your mind suddenly, or to be alarmed either by a spirit, or by an oral statement, or by a letter allegedly from us to the effect that the day of the Lord is at hand. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Seek the Lord, all you humble of the earth who have observed his law. Seek justice, seek humility. Alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, 
Cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory be to you, At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see, G to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed the sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they all saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, Half of all my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anyone from anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. These words are taken from today's Holy Gospel, according to St. Luke. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, if you found today that a very special person was coming to visit, even for many of us, a relative that we may not have seen for a while, we would make sure that there were no dirty dishes in the sink, that everything was kind of picked up and tidied up, and you would want that person come into the house and not say, boy, they got dirty dishes in the sink. They haven't vacuumed the house, and the house looks like a wreck. We would put our best foot forward. Well, today there was the story of Zacchaeus, whom we read in the gospel was a chief tax correct, uh, collector and also a wealthy man. 
Now tax collectors were despised in the time of Jesus because they would cheat the people. They'd give a portion to the Romans whom the Jews despised. And so Zacchaeus was a wealthy man, probably not because of what he was being paid, but he also, as we would use the term, probably skimmed a little bit off the top. But he heard that Jesus was coming in his area. And so he wanted to meet Jesus. Out of curiosity, or a genuine, genuine, as some people would say, an interest. But he was kind of short, and so he climbed a sycamore tree to see Jesus. Did you ever see a parade where sometimes parents will put their kids on their shoulders so they can see the parade? Because they're usually short in stature. Now Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus. He did not just want to hear him pass by. Maybe he never saw Jesus before, but he heard of him. And so again, he climbed the sycamore tree to have a better view. Well, as you know in parades, that usually a parade passes and they don't make eye contact with you unless you know somebody in the parade. But when Jesus came to that sycamore tree, he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. You know, our Lord and Savior in the book of Revelations, chapter 3, verse 20 says, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man opens the door, I will come in and sup or eat with him and him with me. You know, my brothers and sisters in our lives, we are like Zacchaeus, especially those who honestly seek to know the Lord. And we'll go out of our way if we truly want to seek the Lord. Did not Jesus say, Seek and, <clears throat> seek and you shall find. Our Lord comes to us and he says, Eric, come down quickly. Or Mark. Or John. Or Cheryl. For today I must stay at your house. Following the resurrection of Jesus, there were two who were walking on the road to Emmaus, and Jesus appeared. And so they had traveled a, a portion of the way, and Jesus was interesting. And they said, and they said to him, stay with us this evening. They invited him to come into their home, because there was something about Jesus that interests them. Well, again, my brothers and sisters, the Lord speaks to each and every single one of us to come down and to stay at your house. We read in Holy Scriptures, I was glad when they said unto me, we will dwell in the house of the Lord. Is this not a house? Does not our Lord call you to come and to participate in the holy sacrifice of the Mass, in which bread and wine is offered, his body and his blood? Why? Because he wants to share with us. Come down, for today I must stay at your house. The scripture passage that wherever two or three are gathered in my name, I will be amongst you. We believe in our faith that what Jesus says is truthful. That he is in co-union with each and every single one of us. 
We are his disciples. You know, I, I look, and it sometimes, many times, brings me sadness that we do not have people that are willing to answer that call to come to the place of worship, to the place where many have been baptized, to share with the Lord Jesus Christ and what he has to say to each and every single one of us. <coughs> My dear brothers and sisters, when the Lord meets you, when you call to meet him, you are like Zacchaeus. And what did Zacchaeus say unto the Lord? Looked up and said, come down, because I want to stay at your house today. Zacchaeus, a tax collector, a wealthy man, he said to the Lord, Behold, half of all my possessions, Lord, I will give to the poor. When he was working as a tax collector, did he feel that way? That, Lord, I shall give half of my possessions to the poor. He goes one step further and he says, And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall pay it four times over. When the Lord meets you on your path, you are willing to give up everything. Jesus said to Zacchaeus, Today salvation has come to this house. The question is asked, by some in different denomination, denominations, are you saved? Are you reborn? Jesus didn't say, are you reborn? But he told us that it was important to be reborn of water, which is baptism in spirit, which we know as confirmation. Jesus says for today, Salvation has come to this house because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. That seems like a story, an old story. Do you not know that you are descendants of Abraham? And Jesus said that I've come, his ministry, to seek and to save what was lost. They say those that ask the Lord to come into their hearts, they first of all say, Lord, I've messed up a lot. I've gotten lost with worldly pleasures and whatever has not allowed me to come to you. Jesus is well known in many images, one about a land that he has on his shoulders. And who is the Lamb? That's the one that was lost. The other 99 remained in the pen. My dear brothers and sisters, as I look at all of you that are gathered, what can be done with 10 or 15 people. I say to you, did not our Lord have 12? And think about what kind of impact the world had when they became the witnesses to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we reflect on the story of Zacchaeus, May we realize that the Lord comes to us when we seek him. And the Lord does not come into our lives when we do not want to seek him. And I pray that we all might take the example of Zacchaeus. 
who went out of his way to seek the Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised now and forevermore. Amen. Christus. Walk upon God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary. And he man. For our sake, he was crucified on the conscious pilot. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge my baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. The Lord supports all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. Please be seated. Sisters, 
that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted by God, our Heavenly Father. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, bless us in the gifts we have offered and show us the way that leads to eternal happiness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, Almighty and eternal God, the source of life. We ask for your peace and blessing to rest upon the repose of the soul of our brother in blessed memory, Robert Giaconosco. All of this we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, for forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. Give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him praise and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Out of love, you have called each of us to who life. You give us our daily bread and the bread of life. And by your protection and assistance, you see to our every need. And so with trust, we commend this day to your fatherly care. Therefore, we join with the voices of angels and archangels with all the saints and the entire church. And we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights. Please be seated. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and unspotted sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true orthodox and Catholic faith that comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. In our prayers, my dear brothers and sisters, let us offer the intentions for the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed, all those who are suffering from the coronavirus and especially let us keep in mind the young children who are suffering from the RSV. May we give thanks to Almighty God for the blessings of doctors, nurses, first responders and all health care workers. In our prayers, let us pray for all abused and neglected children in our world, as well as all abused and neglected animals and all victims of violence, both here and abroad. May we give God our prayers that, and thanks for all those who serve in our armed forces, that God would watch and protect all of them and return them safely to their homes. And may we also remember and pray for all who are present here 
whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for the hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and make it pleasing to yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries and went spiritually and bodily in his entire being. He again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands and lifting his eyes to heaven to you, God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you. He blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, Again, giving thanks to you. He blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, in his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings and with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which our high priest Melchizedek offered you a holy sacrifice in immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar and to the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servant Robert, who has gone before us with the Son of Faith and who now sleeps in peace. To his soul, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. 
and grant us, your sinful servants who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord, amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching, and following divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, also Andrew, and all the saints. Grant us peace in our day, that being supported by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever, May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us who receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give unto you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you. Who lives and reigns, God forever and ever, amen. Partake, may the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation, Though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master awaken in all of us. Living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and the holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it 
Last, unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, those who will not be receiving the Holy Eucharist sacramentally, let us now offer the act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul into life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord? For all the graces he hath rendered unto me, I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise shall I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for you shall be filled. Receive the body and the blood of Christ.
You are my God. Pit me, Lord, for you I call all the day. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Ever living God, we give you thanks and praise that we have received your Son in the Holy Eucharist. Make us worthy of your call that we may always be ready to respond to the needs of others. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, Almighty Eternal God, you are the resurrection and the life. We pray this day as we offer prayers for the repose of the soul of our brother in blessed memory, Robert Jakonowski. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit and art one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Go, the sacrifice is offered. of our worship be pleasing to you most holy trinity and grant that the sacrifice which we though unworthy have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you through your mercy may be effective for ourselves and all those for whom we have offered it through christ our lord amen may the almighty and merciful god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen, amen. the lord be with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found the life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness of darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives the light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by carnal desire, nor by men's willing it, but by God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks be to God. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. Lord May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 